Hello everybody, please remember that you can always schedule a consultation with me through the Astrological Services page of my website if you're interested in doing so. That link is above. In addition to that, I often offer webinar courses. There are several in the works. Three are open for a early registration discount. You can find information on that at this next link. So you feel like you're dealing with an imbalance. You feel that things aren't fair. So what's the best thing to do in that situation? Well, why not create even more imbalance, right? That seems like the right thing to do, <laughs> doesn't it? No, of course it doesn't. But then why are you considering it? You're dealing with a scenario where you feel like you're hard done by, that things are not right, and you feel like you got to do something to change that situation. And so you're considering using a little bit more force in order to tilt the hand of destiny in your favor. And even though taking that action may momentarily make things reach a space of uh, stasis or balance, it's only going to reach that space on its way to turning upside down and topsy-turvy, right? So what's the lesson that you need to learn at this particular moment in time? Well, number one, being firm in resolve is not the same as doing something radical, right? There's a very big difference between the two. One is a little more receptive in its action, right? So if you're firm in resolve, all you really have to do is learn how to say resolve first. <laughs> and once you've learned how to say resolve, then just wait and be patient and be receptive. And then when you see that the moment is right, then when you receive that guidance from your intuition that aha, this is the moment, then you take action. But right now, the voice that you're listening to in that scenario is the voice that feels like it's not getting enough of what it needs, right? And that's more coming from a space of lack than coming from a space of awareness. So if you act now and try to change things in a strong or forceful manner, you're likely just going to make things worse for yourself and create more things to sort out in the future. And you've got enough to sort out already, right? And if you think somebody's going to support you in creating this change, well, guess again, right? And that's okay, because this is your thing. This is something that you're striving to create to try to make it so that it's something that everybody else should want to create as well, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And so you're thinking, okay, well, since they're not going to help, then that's not fair. Then I'm just going to do something forceful and like turn the situation upside down. And, you know, just like a cat, it'll land on its feet and everything will just move forward, you know, in perfect harmony. Not going to happen. <laughs> okay. What you need to do instead is to just wait, as I said before. The moment will come. Whilst you're waiting, take a look. Look at the signs and signals. Cues are being given to you in every moment, right? So just learn and be patient. Once again, I do offer several different levels of astrological service for those of you who are interested in scheduling. Just a quick point to my astrological services page, which is linked above. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Rohini Nakshatra, which takes place on the 3rd of June, 2019. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.